I think today's event highlighted that the interest is still there and it continues to grow very fast. Uh, so I was very excited to see not only the, the amount of people that joined uh, today's event, but also the caliber of, of people. We had uh, everyone from uh, data scientists to traditional investment managers to the most sophisticated quantitative analysts in the, in the world. Uh, we had vendors of very unique data sets um, talking about how firms are starting to use their data. Uh, we had academics that presented very exciting and interesting research. The conference this year, is, uh, I think, is sort of extending what happened last year, which was a good conference. Uh, this year we're going to talk more about um, how to use Ravenpack data and how to, uh, how to use that in your trading decisions and, and other decisions you might have. We've developed new approaches to using macro sentiment analytics to uh, predict and forecast economically sensitive behavior. One of the major applications, of course, is financial markets. We began using TrendPointer's data combined with Ravenpack last year because it's turned out to be one of the most immediate uh, and accurate uh, feedback systems of how market pricing is related to macro sentiment. I use the Ravenpack data in my research quite a lot. I find the news analytics very interesting. I especially enjoy the event coding. I've used that to identify both uh, earnings announcements, uh, which I'll be presenting about today, and other very high impact news events. It's also been exciting to hear about the different ways that Ravenpack suggests people utilize their data set in alpha strategies. I'm excited to, to take a deeper look at the data and think of new ways to use it. We've provided tools in the stream to indicate whether you're bullish or bearish. Uh, and obviously today with natural language processing uh, systems, that stuff can be dragged out of the system. But we give people the tools to convey their bullishness or, or sentiment. And really for the last six years, the stream has been you know, four to one bullish. So dead on actually. Today's event really took a mix of academic, practical, and a little bit some of the non-traditional aspects of it with the Wall, the Wall Street Journal and, and the Dow Jones piece. And I find it uh, that enlightened me in thinking about, you know, what is the future of big data?